welcome to another video. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you enjoy this year. Anyway, 2025 is said to be the year of agents because we'll start seeing a lot of agentic stuff this year. And agents are something that I really like to cover because many of them are good and many are not. But all of them have something which can be great for some users and not for others. Today, I have one such new agent, and it's called Small Agents. This is by Hugging Face, and it's agentic, so to say. But the major thing about it is that it's really small, as the name suggests, and quite simple to use as well. The logic for agents fits in about a thousand lines of code, which is pretty great, because many of them can get quite complex, which I personally don't like. It also has support for any LLM, including the Hugging Face Inference API, OpenAI, Anthropic, and almost anyone via Light LLM. Now, one of the major things that made me want to cover it is because of its code agents. Code agents are basically agents that can write code and execute it to achieve whatever task you give them. It's similar to how Claude Engineer V3 Agent Zero, Open Interpreter, or others do stuff, which means that you can just give it a task, and it can write some code to achieve that task and then execute it. It's really good, and the code to run all this is extremely simple. You can also use it to apply it to your programs and stuff like that as well. You can make it run on your computer, or you can also just ask it to run the stuff in something like an E2B sandboxed environment. So, let me show you how it all works and how you can use it. But, before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Photogenius AI. Photogenius AI is an all-in-one AI-powered art generator that allows you to type anything and get stunning visuals instantly. Photogenius AI gives you all kinds of image generation models in one place, whether it be Flux, Stable Diffusion, Kardinsky, or any image generator model that you can think of. Not just that, it also gives you the option to do advanced AI image editing as well, with their cool AI tools like an AI avatar generator, background removal, logo generator, emoji generator, or even add an app icon generator. And the best part is that it starts at only $10. And you can get an additional 25% off these already great deals by using my coupon code KING25. So, make sure that you check out photogenius.ai through the link in the description and generate some cool stuff with it. Now, using it locally is actually quite simple. First, you'll need to run pip install small agents and this will get the small agents package installed. Now, we'll need to open up a Python file and then just copy this code from the GitHub page and paste it in there. In this code, you can see that we just import the small agents library, create an agent with some tools and models, and then run the agent with a task. Now, here, we are creating the code agent and we have given it the DuckDuckGo search tool and in the model, it by default has the Hugging Face Inference API, but most of us won't want to use that. So, you can use the Light LLM integration. You can just go to the examples, open this file, and copy this model section, and paste it in there. Now, once you have that, just change it to whatever you want to use. I'll be using the Free Gemini 2.0 Flash API since that's pretty good. So, just put in the model like this. Now, once that's done, I recommend keeping the DuckDuckGo search tool as it is because it's good to use. And make sure that you also set the model to the model instance that we have created above. Now, we can start using this model, and it can make web searches as well as run code. So first, Make sure that you export your Gemini API key like this. Once that's done, you can put in the task in the run thing. 
So, let's try to ask it to tell us about myself. Now, once we have updated the query, we can just run it, and now you can see that it starts doing it. Because we are using the code agent, what it does is write code and execute it to achieve that, which is a lot different than other frameworks. Anyway, you can see that now we have the final answer, and it's pretty good. Also, if you're wondering, the DuckDuckGo API is free with some rate limits, and you don't need an API key. Anyway, we have the answer, which is great and works well and all you need is about five, eight lines. One more thing that you can also do is ask it for things that it can do by running code. For example, let's say that we want it to fetch the NVIDIA stock price. Well, then we can just change the query to it by typing in the query here. Now, I'm asking it to use the Y-Finance library, and for security, the code interpreter only allows it to run basic libraries but we can pass in additional authorized imports and authorize Yahoo Finance here. Now, what we can do is just run it. And once we do that, you can see that it again starts doing some stuff. You can see that it writes the Y Finance code, and if we wait a bit, then you can see that the answer is here. So, this works pretty well, and you can ask it to do anything by just authorizing the library that you would want the agent to use. It can also do calculations. So, if we ask it to do some quite simple stuff as well, let's ask it to make me a simple calculation. Now, if we send it in, then you can see that it starts doing that. And if we wait a bit, then we get the response to that as well. So, this code agent is quite cool because it can run code quite easily and take the response of that in context and use it, which makes it really good. You can also change the system prompt by mentioning it like this. Or you can also add some other tools that are mentioned in the small agent's documentation as well. Or you can also put in custom tools if you want. One more thing that you can also do is use the E2B code sandbox executor for the commands as well which will allow you to keep everything more secure because the code that it generates will be run in a sandboxed environment in the cloud and E2B also has a good free tier. So, you can just enable E2B sandboxing by just enabling the E2B code execution here and then you'll need to export the E2B API key here and then once you have done that, you can just run it and now the code that it generates will be executed in the sandbox. So, this is pretty amazing. You can also use some other agents as well. And you can also limit the number of iterations that it can go through, and everything like that as well. I like this for sure, as it's not a very big thing that you need to study, and it's pretty small, and it works pretty well. You can do almost everything, and the code agent was a thing that I liked a lot because it was something different. And you can use this framework to be added into your applications and stuff as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.